Hi guys, uh, welcome back to uh, FNS Bushcraft. Yes, we're back at camp. Uh, Out in the woods again today. Yay! And I'm in me camo. <laughs> Matthew is sporting the latest camo goods <laughs> from hidealot.co.uk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> His new invisibility cloak. Anyway, rambling. Are you having trouble drinking, sir? And uh, spilling yeah. coffee all down myself. We'll get you care soon, don't worry. <laughs> I thought I oh, were bad. <coughs> right, so uh, today, uh, just a continuation really of last week, we're going to hopefully try and bang out a bit of a shorter video. Um, as we realise, kind of half an hour is a little bit much of an ask for people to sit and watch, but we do really appreciate every subscriber um, and everybody that does come over to us that hasn't yet subscribed. Please do consider subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything apart from a little bit of your time. Um, and if you've come over here to have a little bit of a nosy and you like what we do, um, and just click the subscribe button. We'd really appreciate it. Don't we are trying the notification to notification bell. Notification. Click it to notify all. Um, and away you go. You just get a little bit more of what we do. Uh, it's just father and son out in the woods doing a bit of bushcraft. And maybe you might learn something. I don't know. And uh, on the last video, you saw us complete the saw horse yeah. <coughs> and start the window frame. Mm -hmm. <coughs> so this week, we're going to. Reinforce the saw horse, stop it from shaking around and wobbling, um, and we'll show you some action on there, cutting some wood on it and using it, um, and we'll get on with the other window frame. Hopefully, get the other window frame kind of done and in. Uh, we still haven't decided on what we're going to do to cover the windows. We're thinking maybe, I don't know, pieces of bark off a tree, maybe. Yeah, we did bring a bracing bit with us, but the drill bit we've brought <laughs> doesn't work so. it's the wrong kind of drill bit it's round all the way up and the, the the bracing bit where you tighten it it's all good and great for drilling in but as soon as you come to reverse out the drill bit stays in the wood and it comes off the brace so i think it needs like a square end on it so it locks in better but we'll have to rectify that one so that's the bracing we'll bit to, down the toilet this we'll week try that next time try that next time <laughs> story of our life um, yeah. nothing ever goes straight forward for us but we always find a way around things so yeah that's kind of, I think, what makes us a bit more unique. But yeah, without further ado, we we'll should do more uh, crack on. picturesque B-roll and hopefully get some. Oh, I'm sure Sir David Attenborough here will hopefully be. get some uh, videos of the birds <laughs> for you today as well. Again, so well, it's very, very dull. We've been kind of, you know, promised by the lovely weatherman um, that you know we're going to get thunderstorms, rain for four days. It's going to be a deluge. Yet yeah, we've still managed to come out and we're not wet. We've come in waterproof, sweating our asses off and. Uh, Taking the waterproofs off because it's still warm and not wet. Well, I've so. got mine on. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see. Okay, yeah. okay. Uh, Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Obviously we're going to want to sink a bit of it in the ground so that by the time it's under there, it's kind of well buried. Mm -hmm. I know we've not really brought the um, spader out with us, have we? But no. We can dig it out with a knife or something, just dig a hole in there. I don't know how quiet I'm going to attach it to there yet. I might just bang a thing through it. You know, a peg? Yeah. Most people would put cross, be cross beams on, on each leg like that. I'll probably do that as well but I think it's well in the ground. I think it just needs that rock taken out of it, that back and forth. Yeah. Because there's a lot of weight going down on that. Rather big but... <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
and uh, just made a new handle for the uh, auger out of a birch stick, a dead birch stick. Um, that should be better than the old one, which is that one. <laughs> So yeah, we're on the uh, tow horse now, guys. Just trying to give it some um, side support so it doesn't tip over or fall over, and then eventually we'll probably do a, a cross brace in the middle to stop these falling in, because this isn't attached to these. So. been uh, fetching this specially selected log. It's not just any log, it's an M&S log. <laughs> specially selected. <laughs> it's just about to pop. Yeah, I could hear it cracking as well. Cracking. Got it bang on. God, it's going, it wants to go. <laughs> Stubborn. She didn't want to pop. Nearly. Come right down to the stop cut. Yeah. It goes on a knot. It's uh, probably got a bit of a twist in it. It's going. Even the bloody logs are stubborn. Yeah. Right yeah, we haven't got a wedge or anything, have we? It's one thing we haven't got. Mm. Like a decent wedge that you could drive in. You make one out of hardwood. Yeah. So you probably get some what birch. Get a wedge out and use that. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're being lazy, really. We've never bothered, have we, really, with wedges? No. Might just be missing a stop cut on this bottom corner. Yeah, probably. <sighs> there you go. Wasn't quite all the way. And here's one we made earlier. Here's one we made earlier. <laughs> and that creates... Lovely wedge, it has actually split quite nice and straight. Yeah, it's quite straight compared to the other ones we've yeah, got. Yeah, yeah. So, add on us. Awesome. Very humid today. Yes. Very humid. It was raining this morning when we turned up, and then uh, the sun's come out, so. It's really humid. And it's uh, midgy heaven right now. Could you pass me the silky pot? Merci, magic hands. Okay. <laughs> yeah, should do. That's just moved. <laughs> I might have to peg that end, then do this end. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can have your auger back. <laughs> right, so. And then I'll peg the other end in. Then I know it won't move.
Alright guys, I uh, eventually decided on uh, trying this out with the auger. I just drilled shallow holes on either side and then I just wedged these in like bars basically. Um, and they're all secure, they're not going to fall out or pull out or come out. But then I'm going to weave branches up to the top, all the way along. And it should look awesome. A bit like a basket. Yeah, a bit like a basket weave. Um, but yeah, I've never seen anybody else do this before. So I thought I'd try it out. Tell us what you think in the comments, guys. Face. <laughs> and then uh, Dad's put the cross brace on the, um, the sawhorse. Yeah, and, done, uh, done the one on this side. We now need to go and get a pole for the other side. Yeah, in a second we're going to go on a wander and get another pole for that but side. All, so already, even though there's a lot of weight on the top with this big log, we've chose this because in future builds we're going to be using a lot of big logs. So we're going to need something long, heavy, and sturdy. That now has got a lot less. Wobble. It still wobbles a bit, but that's nowhere near as bad as it was. So, yeah, it's just gives a bit more rigidity, makes it more useful. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, crack on, onwards and upwards. As crack on, somebody would say. Was that easier at that height? Yeah. That's the beauty of a saw horse. It makes life a lot easier. I know it's when a big it's one, the, but when it's at like hip height, yeah, you can get enough. Um, it's workbench height as well. You can get enough push yeah. on it then because you're above it. So. Mm, exactly. And you're working on the floor, and you're all hunched over, and you. Yeah, you can't get strength, can you? I know what you mean. But just to showcase the pegs, how strong the pegs are. I weigh about. 80, 80 kilograms, 70 to 80 uh, kilograms. I'd say probably about eight and a half, nine stone when you're wet. Yeah. <laughs> Light as a feather. Two but pegs and two notches. The notches do give extra strength. They ain't going anywhere. Bye, up. Right. You finished playing now, son? <laughs> See ya! <laughs> <laughs> and Matt's obviously, uh, he's chopping up that thin a bit of pole um, to create then the window frame. Well, I threw it away because I need it again. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Why is it you always show me your ass? <laughs> After, every little helps. Certainly better.
No, I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to. Uh, I'm just going to cut another notch. So as you can see, I've sort of done on my end. Nice flat notch there. I now need to mirror that on the other end, which is always tricky trying to get the other end the same as this end because you've not only got to get it flat across the plane that way you've got to get it flat that way because if you don't get the other end right it'll end up twisted either way like that and it won't match up so yeah i've got to try and get that one flat on that end and split it out back shortly Hi hey guys. Hi. <laughs> we have uh, got the other window frame there now. Complete. Um, we haven't quite hung it yet, but uh, I spent ages doing that before, uh, as you would have seen. Time consuming. Uh, very, yeah, very time consuming. It must have taken me about an hour and a half to do it. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just like bars, wooden bars, and the idea is to. Weave a load of branches Weave. in between. Fill it in that way. And fill it in that way instead of using a tarp or anything like that. Just um, wanted to try and keep it as natural as possible and not use too much. Even though we've got tarp on the roof, I think everybody that builds a shelter needs a tarp. <laughs> yeah. But to have it on the windows was a bit excessive, so we thought we'd go with that idea. Mass idea. Yeah. He does have them every now and again. Sometimes. <laughs> and then while I was doing that, uh, Dad was... Uh, making the sawhorse better. The braces on the end. The braces on. The two cross beams, which are now on and strong, not going anywhere. Sorry for my bad camera angles, guys. It's got it's so much more rigid now. It ain't it ain't going anywhere. So when we use that, that's uh, solid, solid as a rock. As you can see there, looking good. Whew. Oh yeah. And uh, hopefully soon, uh, maybe next week, uh, we've got a how-to video uh, coming with regards to the fire pit and something to do with the fire pit. So stick around um, and wait for that video to come out next week. You're a bit hopeful there, Matt. Yeah, of course I am. Relying upon my knowledge and skills. No. <laughs> got me on for that. So, so that's it for today from up. us guys we shall see you next time see you uh, next time thanks for joining us don't forget to comment down below if you haven't already subscribe hit notify all and subscribe and subscribe subscribe and we'll see you. subscribe subscribe, subscribe. We'll see you next time see you next time bye bye